So you own an iPad, maybe something like a ninth generation, and you wanna be able to go ahead and set up your audio interface, your MIDI keyboard and your microphone so you can record and make music. Keep on watching this video. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm gonna be doing in this video, I'm gonna be utilizing the older iPad. It's the ninth generation, but I just recently bought it like a week ago. I wanted to go ahead and buy it so I can start doing tutorials and things like that on it for you guys. So I went ahead and bought the iPad. I have audio interfaces and some other accessories to go ahead and start recording music on it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and set that up in this video. All the materials that you'll need, I'll have links in the description box. And if you already have them around the house, that'd be cool as well. But if not, I'll have the links in the description box so you guys can go ahead and purchase it. Let's go ahead and jump into this video right now. All right guys, also bear with me right now. I'm a little sick. I've been under the weather i've been sick for the past week or so so my voice may sound a little bit weird or whatever but you guys i'm sure you understand okay now i am going to be utilizing a preamp in this setup i'm not going to go through how to go ahead and set that up visually but i will probably put like a diagram or or something in a video to go ahead and show you guys how i went ahead and connected everything okay i already had a lot of this stuff already connected i just went ahead and added the iPad, the adapters that I needed for the iPad and pretty much hooked up my MIDI keyboard, uh, my audio interface, microphone, etc. And everything is pretty much good to go from there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys that real quick and I'm gonna do a quick little video. As you can see, I have the iPad set up with my case keyboard. Uh, I have links in the description box for any of this stuff if you need it. I have the PreSonus audio box as well as the Apple uh, camera adapter that I have going and then I also have a USB uh, connector that I'll show you there in a second okay but this is just pretty much what it looks like this is a setup here all right and I'm going to be using this microphone here and I'm running it through some of this gear here okay now I'm utilizing an older version of the iPad I know some of the newer ones are USB-C uh, but I don't have that particular one. I use the one that used a lightning port. So if you have a particular audio interface that'll make it easier to connect to that, then you shouldn't have any issues. But for me personally, I need an adapter for mine. So I went ahead and purchased the Apple lightning to USB three cable. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. It's about 40 bucks. It's a little expensive, but it's definitely worth having. Okay. So I went ahead and purchased this. This is what it looks like. Okay, so you can go ahead and get that. And then also what you'll need is you'll need a USB hub. Now it has to be a powered one that you can plug into an outlet plug, AC power that's gonna have continuous power because the majority of the time when you're using the older versions like I am, this is not a pro version iPad. I do know that typically they're not powerful enough or uh, put out enough juice to go ahead and power your audio interfaces as well as uh, your microphones and things like that. So you will need some extra power to go ahead and make that happen, okay? So what I did was purchase this Vanison uh, USB hub and it's powered as well. Check it out. It comes with seven ports, okay? And it comes with the power adapter to go into the wall, okay? Those are really two major things that you're definitely gonna need. I also would recommend that you guys get an extra uh, lightning USB lightning cable so if you have an extra, you know, cable for Apple or whatever the case may be, then go ahead and be able to utilize that with the setup as well. So I'm going to just show you how I personally set this up and how it's going to work out for you as well. All right, guys, so check it out. Some of the things that you're going to need in this particular case is your iPad and you're also going to need an audio interface, which I have here. And then you're also going to need... A MIDI keyboard okay no matter how big or small it is as long as you got a MIDI keyboard okay now I have my audio interface hooked up to my preamp my Avalon 737 crazy expensive but you don't need a preamp you can go straight to your audio interface from your microphone to your XLR cable to the audio interface but I am using a preamp in this setup okay first you want to go ahead and take your video adapter card okay and then you want to plug that into the iP iPad. Plug it directly into the iPad, okay? Then you want to go ahead and take your USB hub 
and you want to plug in a power adapter that comes with it and plug it into your power supply here okay now mine is a little messy don't worry about that okay and then you're going to take the other end that's usb and once you you're going to plug that in to the video side of the adapter here okay that's your usb hub is going to plug into the adapter on the left side all right next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead if you want to have continuous power to your tablet while you're actually utilizing it then you can go ahead and take one of your apple lightning cables here and just plug it into the brick like i have here and plug it into this portion of it right here okay that's going to give it continuous power and as you can see as you can see the tablet is charging that's pretty much all you need to do from there. Then you want to take your microphone, which I'm using a TLM 103 Neumann microphone XLR, and it's going to my preamp, okay? But yours will go straight to your audio interface, okay? It would go straight to your audio interface. Mine is going to my, my microphone, to my actual preamp, to my audio interface. Yours would go straight from your microphone into your audio interface, okay? So you'll have your microphone set up. You take your audio interface from there and you go ahead and plug it up into the USB hub, okay? You wanna also plug your MIDI keyboard into this hub as well, which I have here. So everything's pretty much connected and plugged up, okay? <clears throat> now, depending on the audio interface, audio device connected, you have plugged in an electric guitar. Okay, boom. So everything's already plugged up. All right, so once you go ahead and do that, it should go ahead and pop up and let you know that it's pretty much connected. Now, it didn't work at first for me. What I had to do was basically just cut my iPad off and then cut it back on, okay? So what I'm doing is cutting this on here, my Avalon 737, and then if I'm talking to microphone, you can actually see that it's picking up the signal, okay? So test one, test two, test three. Now it's picking up the signal, okay? So I know that that works. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm talking to you guys through the actual microphone, okay? Now, what I'm gonna be doing in this process is just basically allowing you guys to hear my vocals. Now, like I said, I'm talking to you guys through the TLM 103 Neumann microphone, and it's passing through the Avalon 737, going into the PreSonus Audio Box USB audio interface straight into my iPad, okay? I have a little reverb on here on the vocals, and that's what you, you guys are able to actually hear right now, okay? Now, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys how I actually have it set up really quick, so let me go ahead and do that now. We're gonna go through channel one, because that's the microphone input on my interface that I'm going through. What I went ahead and did was went into these settings up here. You can do a metronome count in, but I have an instrumental in here and that I downloaded from online and basically I matched the tempo so I just changed that to 160 by double clicking. I don't worry about the key or anything because I'm not gonna be changing any of that out. And what you wanna do is go down to advanced settings. I have multi-track recording enabled, 24-bit audio resolution enabled, and I'm not gonna worry about running anything in the background, okay? So now if I go here, you can actually see that in order to record, what you need to do is go ahead and make sure that this is on, okay? This is your record enable, and this is your input monitoring. This is where you're able to hear yourself, okay? So now I'm facing the microphone, and now you guys can actually hear my vocals pretty clear. You can hear exactly what I'm doing. Now, if you notice when I cut that off, you wasn't able to hear my vocals anymore, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, you wasn't able to hear me, but now that I cut it back on, you guys are able to hear me, okay? Now, also to show you this, to know that I'm actually going through this, you're going to actually be able to hear me turn the reverb all the way down, okay? So check this out. I'm going to take this slider. Now this is my normal voice. This is what the microphone sounds like going straight through the Avalon 737, straight into the audio box, into the iPad, okay? Now, it sounds pretty good because I have some settings already set on my preamp with some EQ and some compression so my vocals sound good. Now it'll sound just as good going straight to the audio interface, but I like to have my vocals a little 
uh, pre-processed before I actually start recording to my DAW. That's why my vocals sound super clean right now, okay? A little high on the high end, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more reverb. Test one, test two, test three, okay? That's some light reverb. Now let's add a little echo. Hey, what up? Chris Lee back with another video. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right. So now what I want to go ahead and do is just, I imported the instrumental. And what I did was I went here. I went here and I went to files because I downloaded it from Google. And you can go browse items. And wherever you have them downloaded, whether that's your iDrive, your iCloud drive or on your computer. Then you go ahead and just go to those files, okay? If you go to recent, it's going to show you the most recent that you downloaded, okay? And that's the beat that I downloaded, all right? So now, after you do that, you just basically click, hold, and drag the beat into your session, okay? So like I say, you click it and you drag it. All right, then you want to go ahead and create another track, which is the one down here, the plus button. You can just go ahead and click that. And it gives you options on what you want to go ahead and insert. Uh, audio track, if you want to do that, it's going to record your voice or instrument guitar tracks. You got amps, drums, pianos. If you want to do like MIDI keyboards or whatever the case may be, you can do that as well. Okay. After you go ahead and import the track, it should go to the right channel and it should go ahead and pick up your microphone. Make sure that your 48 Phantom Power is engaged on your audio interface if you're not utilizing a preamp. If you have a preamp, you do not need to have it engaged on both the preamp and the audio interface, okay? So now what I want to do is just go ahead and hit enter, and I'm just going to do like a quick sample, okay? Do a quick recording real quick. Hey, let's go. Chris Lee, I'm in a building. Sir, sir. All right. Listen now. This Love. is that kingdom. On you too. I'm making me a video to teach you how to use the iPad. You know how I doing. All right, so there you go. I just recorded some quick, simple vocals. So let's go ahead and hit the enter button. I'm going to go back and we're just going to listen to that. Hey, let's go. Chris Lee, I'm in the building. Sir, sir. All right. Listen now. This Love. is that kingdom. On you too. I'm making me a video to teach you how to use the iPad. All right, boom. So there you go, guys. It's that simple. Now, if I went up to another track, then you'll be able to actually hear me play the piano. Now, I'm not going to try to talk at the same time, or I may, but I just want to show you guys how the MIDI keyboard is set up as well. All right, so I have the MIDI keyboard set up, and it's already plugged in, okay? So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and delete that particular track I just recorded. And then if I go to the MIDI keyboard track. You should be able to hear the piano. So we're going to go here. And we are going to go here. There you go. So let's just go ahead and record that. Hit R. Okay. Stop it. And we're going to go back to our original window. All right, guys, so check this out. To go ahead and finish the video off, I really hope that this video helped you guys out. This is an older version iPad. This is the iPad from 2021, I believe, the ninth generation. It's not that old, but at the same time, I know it is a little bit different from the newer versions here in 2023 or 2022 with the USB-C versions. So I'm not really sure if it works the exact same way, but if not, 
guys, I'm pretty sure that there'll be some tutorials or I'll go ahead and do some tutorials in the future when I go ahead and decide to buy a newer iPad. For right now, this one works perfectly for me and what I have with this setup. Now, this is how this works with this setup. So hopefully if you have one that's an older version, then this will kind of give you an idea of exactly what to do to go ahead and get yourself recording as well as your MIDI keyboard setup, okay? So if you guys wanna see more tutorials in the future, go ahead and hit that like button as well as leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, guys. I would really love to know if this video was helpful. If you wanna see more tutorials on how to record with the iPad, I try to bring you guys so many tutorials or you know videos to kind of help you guys figure out how to do particular things. And I realize that I'm not gonna be able to cover everything unless you guys actually let me know in the comment section so take advantage of that i will get back to you guys also go check out my other tutorials if you haven't yet or just check out my other videos in general i have a lot of entertaining content out there and i'm pretty sure that you guys can learn something but other than that guys i truly appreciate you for watching my videos and as always stay tuned for the next video